What's going on guys, DSSM back again with another video. Thank you for stopping by and I hope that you're having a great day so far. Um, not too much to report on. We're really in the dead zone of free agency right now as we get real close to the tampering period, which starts on Monday. Uh, it really kind of slows down and there's not a ton of news to talk about. But there was one thing when I was on uh, ESPN and, and kind of checking around for Miami Dolphins news, uh, it was reported that the Miami Dolphins are reasonably interested in center David Andrews and signing him to a contract in free agency. Uh, and I really want to, more than anything, I just want to get your guys' thoughts down below on how you feel about us potentially signing David Andrews. My quick take, I don't want to make this a long video, I'm just going to make it a, a real quick idea. My thoughts on David Andrews is, if we're talking David Andrews Two years ago, 2018, one of the top centers in the league, clearly a very good center, uh, can play football at an elite level. He showed that in 2018, but 2019 and 2020, this last season, he struggled with injuries and he's starting to slow down a little bit, not quite at the top of his game. And the reason, the whole reason why Ted Karras started in New England for that full season in 2019 is because David Andrews was injured. He was hurting out the whole year. So he played this year, but he played in 12 games. And so when I'm thinking about David Andrews, the first thing that comes to mind is he's 28 years old. He's starting to suffer some injury consistently, and he's not quite at the top of his game like he used to be. And to me, even though he's a good center, I also want to look at the rest of the market and who else is going to be there in free agency. And even though David Andrews is a good center, like I said, the money that he will potentially demand, whether it's right around seven, eight, nine million dollars, something right around there, we could probably pick up a better option for not much more expensive. Uh, talking Corey Lindsley, this is someone that I have absolutely pounded the table on all off season. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the guy that I want Miami to sign. He's a veteran. He was an all pro this last year. Doesn't get hurt very often. Does everything that you want a center to do. He can handle the nose tackle on his own. And he's a leader. He's going to be the anchor of that offensive line. And Corey Lindsay will probably demand maybe anywhere from 10 to 12 million. And to me, that's more worth it. I'd rather take a little bit more of a cap hit for someone who I know right now is a better option at center. So I want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions down below. How much do you think is too much for David Andrews? Would you even consider him in free agency? Clearly, we need a center, uh, but it's just a matter of what direction you'd like to go in. Would you prefer Corey Lindsley? Would you prefer us to draft somebody? Let me know down below. And, and like I said, if we're talking David Andrews from 2018, I'm all over that. Uh, but current condition David Andrews is not who he used to be. So that's my hesitancy. That's some of my thought process. I would rather just go sign Corey Lindsley or... If I'm really just not sold on Lindsay, I'd rather draft somebody at this point. So let me know down below. What do you guys think? I appreciate you stopping by. If you could do me a massive favor, subscribe down below. We're so close to a thousand. Lots of big, big, big things coming as soon as we hit a thousand. And I really appreciate that. So subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm so that it can reach out to a bunch of people who are interested in NFL news just like you. And you guys won't miss a step this offseason if you subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you guys stopping by. I'll see you very soon with some more content. Take it easy. And as always, fins up.